Hey guys, this is Jam Tito here bringing you another gameplay commentary. Today I'm rolling some domination. This is going to be my first domination post. Um, the reason I don't post that much domination is basically because it's a pretty long game type. And I seem to run out of topics. Like, this game is like 10 minutes, and that's pretty long. I enjoy posting videos like 5, 6 minutes long. And that's how, that's how long basically all the videos have been till now. Um, but this gameplay, um, I'm rolling some domination, and I got a pretty decent score. Um, the bad thing is, basically, um, we lose the match, and we lose by a pretty big amount. Now, the reason being why I did not play the objective in domination at all this match is basically, I when I play the objective, or when I'm playing the objective, I play with a party at, at say, three or more people. Because it gets really, really annoying if you're trying to play the objective and nobody in your team is playing the objective and you go cap a flag alone and then you get killed. And that is just very, very annoying. Which is why when I play alone, or in this case I was playing with an electronic nerd, which is also a kill whore. <laughs> I mean, no offense nerd, but you never go for the objective. So basically I didn't go for the objective either. And I just decided to go for the kills, um, which basically led to us losing. Um, in the end, my team basically tries to win the match. They cap about two flags, and we keep two points for a fair long time. I mean, two flags. But it still wasn't enough, because from the beginning, they capped two flags, and they just kept, kept um, those two flags capped for basically almost the whole game. Um... So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about what I haven't really talked about and which I should have talked about a long time ago is connection. Now, I've been trying to get a Modern Warfare 2 upload for about two days and I just can't do it. It just kind of annoys me a lot that I always have a bad, bad connection. I mean, you can ask anybody I play with, I always roll a two bar and very, very, very rarely I roll a three bar. But most of the time I just roll a two bar and that sucks so much because somebody with a four bar is basically gonna shoot and if we both shoot at the same time, the person who has the best connection um, with the host is basically gonna win the gunfight if two people shoot at the same time. Now that's why I really really hope that Black Ops um, Black Ops get dedicated servers because um, in now in Modern Warfare 2 it's basically the, there's one person who's the host which he gets a four bar and his the connection gets spread out like if he's the host then he spreads the connection to all the rest the rest of the players in the in the match so basically, if we get dedicated servers, then everybody is going to get an equal connection to the server. Then they have to make like a main server that's going to give the connection out to everybody. Um, but that's, I think that's going to cost a lot of money because then it has to be like a pretty big server. So I don't think that's coming, but I really hope that you make a dedicated server. That would really be awesome because um, it kind of annoys me a lot that I get always a two bar and then I get killed quite frequently. Um, but remember guys, don't take this in a bad way like I'm bashing Modern Warfare 2. Because I know this game has a lot of flaws and whatnot. Um, but when a game really starts to frustrate me or really starts to get on my nerves, I'm not going to play it anymore. It's just stupid playing a game to get frustrated by it. I mean, when this game really, really, really gets in my nerves... Then I'm going to stop playing it because th that's just not normal. I'm like playing a game to have fun and not to s stress out, which really sucks. But I mean, till this point, I've still been playing Modern Warfare 2. I still have fun playing with my friends. And um, something I, wanna, I wanted to talk about too that I didn't really talk about in the first part of the video. I was talking about it, but then I got sidetracked. <laughs> Is um, the playing the objective thing. I will only play the objective if I'm in a party. I, I said that already, I think, but whatever. Um, because, uh, I said that too. <laughs> okay, I really am just speaking gibberish right now. 
Um, let's see what else we can talk about. Look, this is why I don't like talking in a 10 minute video because I'm, I'm gonna eventually run out of topics. But I didn't talk about the gameplay yet, did I? No. Um, I'm using the RPD with grip, the RP Dizzle. And uh, let's go into Beast. I mean, it's a two shot kill with stopping power at any range. And that's just beastly. The only thing I dislike about it, it's um, it's fairly slow to drag around and to aim in aim in the sights. It also takes quite a lot. And I'm using sleight of hand, which basically is faster um, sight, like pull the sight faster. And it still takes quite a bit compared to other guns. Um, so if you don't have sleight of hand on it, you're kind of screwed. So for the RPD, I basically um, advise you using sleight of hand it stopping power and steady aim um, I sometimes use ninja I think in this video I was using ninja I'm not sure um, but the point of using steady aim is because um, this gun's a beast in hip firing just because it's a two shot kill and um, the square without using steady aim is fairly big because it's an LMG and by using steady aim, you may basically make it a bit smaller, which is um, pretty nice. Based, pretty nice. You can just like walk in a room and start spraying the gun, and it has a, a pretty low rate of fire, which is also good um, for pre-shooting. I think it's called. I'm not that sure. It's basically before you see the guy, right? And when you're playing with an M16 or a FAMAS, you're gonna aim down perfectly on his face and then shoot or his crotch whatever you prefer but I mean you're gonna aim in perfectly and then shoot right you don't you don't just start bursting as soon as you see him because it's a three shot burst and that's gonna kinda fuck you up because after you shoot you have to like wait a little bit so you can shoot again but what you do with the RPD and with most automatic um, rifles and LMGs and SMGs is basically as soon as you see the guy you start shooting and then you you just naturally start aiming at him and that's pretty good having a low rate of fire because um, I think I, I don't know I'm not that sure but I think it helps you in that situation and right there I just failed a triple kill I shouldn't have picked up those models I think if I would have my the ACR I picked up I would have won that triple but I failed picking up those models and the models are basically crap now I don't know if you guys have tried it out they still are one of my funnest guns to use in Modern Warfare 2 because it's quite fun um, because the drawback of the gun like when you shoot and it reloads that it goes like like flips around it's, it's really really fun like watching that and using that gun I've been trying to get like a search and destroy or a um, domination match with it but it's kinda hard just because the range is so so bad on that gun I don't like it um, so you may have seen already my kill streaks in this match. I'm using five, seven, and nine. Five being Predator, of course. Um, seven being Harrier, and nine being Pavlo because I've talked about this already. <laughs> I'm repeating myself a lot in this video. Um, basically, it's the best kill streak to um, kill streak to have to go positive in um, a lot of your matches. Um, so yeah, let's see what else I can talk about in this video vacant uh, yeah this is a map from the resurgence map pack I guess you all know that by now and um, the resurgence map pack is pretty fun I like it a lot more than the stimulus map pack because in the stimulus um, I don't really enjoy playing bailout that much I like playing storm uh, I can't even remember the other ones but I mean in the resurgence map pack it's, it's really fun like I like carnival Except, uh, like, everybody can surround in their, like, surrounding. You just blend in so well. But it's a really, like, colorful map. And uh, I like that because it's, like, fun to play on. It, it like, it, it's fun. Um, I like playing. I don't like fuel. The fuel, fuel is just messed up just because of the glitch in the rock. Everybody goes in there, which really, really sucks. Um, but I like playing Vacant and Strike. Those were basically... Um, my funnest, um, well, my all, one of my favorite maps, a couple of my favorite maps from Call of Duty 4. I really enjoy playing them, um, but I really hate Overgrown. I don't know, man. I don't know why they put Overgrown in there. It sucks. It's I don't know. It's such an uneven map. When I play on it, they always start like spawning on the other side of the map. It's just so annoying. Uh, right here, I kind of go on my little quick scope 
kill streak on my <laughs> with my sniper. I get I think I get like two quick quick scopes, which was pretty fun. I get one there, and then I get a couple more. I think I get like two more. It was pretty funny. Um, so yeah, guys, as you see by the score, we were losing by quite a lot. We managed to cap two flags. I think like about when we were about 70 points losing. And then we kind of made it a bit tighter, but it's still, it was just a waste of time. Because, I mean, I'm not going to play the objective with a bunch of randoms. Because if they go for kills, it's just going to be really, really annoying. And I enjoy just playing um, very, very, I actually play very, very, um, oh my god. I play a lot of the objective a lot when I play with my party, which is fun. But anyway, guys, the video has come to a close. I hope you guys enjoyed the match. Remember, like always, like, um comment and if you're new to my channel subscribe peace out guys